I suppose it was an uncle of mine, Uncle Pat, he was my godfather. And he had an old camera, an old box camera. And he used to go around everywhere. And I think, I, I doubt if we, we have any photographs not taken by, by my Uncle Pat. And uh, he gave me a great interest in photography and nature. Uh, it happened by accident. I, I was coming out of the Shearwater Hotel. Two Americans approached me and they said, are you f local? I said, yeah, I'm local. Um, do you know anybody around here? I said, yeah, do you know where I can get some literature? So I said, I do. We'll go to the counter in, in the hotel and we went over to the desk and asked, you know, for literature and there was very little literature. In fact, it was none, but nothing about Banlasloe and surrounds. Um, so the first thought came into my head, this can't be right and all the beauty that we have around here because there's so much undiscovered. There's not even a sign for this, a proper big sign for this abbey here. You know, people are struggling finding it as they come from this lounge. My audience was, was varied. Um, it was very varied. I, first of all, I wanted it to be simple. Um, most people won't read a historic book. They might if they are in university or studying for a degree or whatever. But most people, unless they enjoy reading, um, but most people like pictures and a short story. So that was the first thought I had. Um, people with second language, people coming into any of the hotels in town with second language. Um, thirdly, I remember being at a meeting, um, the ACD meeting, way back and one of the hoteliers, I think it was Tomás Gullan, said we have plenty of visitors coming but they leave after one day. There's something wrong with that, you know, because we have no, um, nothing to show them about the beauty of our place or where to visit. So now we have that. Uh, first of all, um, great for, for BACD. I, I got some funding from BACD, which was really invaluable for the design of the, the and, and uh, for Kelly's printers, who have done a magnificent job on it, and the local credit union, which were fantastic. I'd also like to thank uh, the editors, because we had, I had many, Paula Kennedy, for example, um, uh, uh, Paula and uh, Pori Carney helped with the history as well, just getting that fairly accurate. And Aoife McCaig, one of my grind students, wonderful girl, and uh, she has a great eye for detail. Every year the trip to town would be the local talk. Some would go on a bicycle. It was a fairly hefty walk. And one year we got a lift in a gypsy's caravan and the driver said, the horse is slow, but he's doing the best he can. Dad said, there is no doubt that we're travelling in style, but if you don't mind, we're in a rush. We'll get out and walk a while. Dad was right not to trust that care, for it never came at all. And we were still standing at our gate as dust began to fall. And Ma looked at each of us, and she's holding back a tear. Never mind, she said with a smile. There's always next year. Formally to launch the book, I want to thank Parik most sincerely uh, for the time and effort and the support of, of BACD and Banlasloe Credit Union in relation to it. I think this will be a tribute not just to Parig but to the community as a whole. Well done. Briefly, um, before I cry, <laughs> I, I want to dedicate this book to my mum and dad, Mickey and Tess Lines, and also Pat Mitchell who taught me all about photographs. Thank you. Mm -hmm.